right guys welcome back to another video today we got some cool exotic moves i'd highly recommend you have some knee pads uh heels are optional you can totally do these in socks but those knee pads are a definite must so to begin with we're gonna start with this flippy transition coming in towards the floor on our shins you can see here if i'm really breaking the movement down it's literally just me rolling over onto the face of those shins as far as hand placement goes i've got the inside hand grabbing up onto the pole and then the bottom hand is pressing in towards the ground you can also see that I've kind of taken this wide stance with my legs and I'm also thrusting up in the hips. You're gonna notice that I swipe forward with that outside leg first and that gives me a majority of the momentum that I'm gonna need to come off the ground. Now simultaneously, you'll also notice that I am pushing down through that bottom leg. I'm exploding up through a knee extension in the bottom as the top leg aggressively swipes in front of me in a circular motion. At the same time, you'll also notice that my upper body is supporting me. That push and pull through the top arm is what's keeping me airborne while my legs are flailing about in the air. Another thing you notice is that I am trying to softly land on the heel portion rather than going directly on my knees. So the heel absorbs the shock and then I try to control the pace at which I fall down to the ground by engaging my quads. Now, very similar to this, we would just be landing on the heel. So if I slow it down, you can see I've still got that same crazy momentum happening in the legs. But of course, instead of tucking the shins in and bending in the knee, I am aiming for the floor beneath me. This version is slightly more difficult. And you can also see that that bottom hand leaves the ground midway through this movement. Up next, we've got this really fun, spinny, pirouette move. Again, we're landing on the heel. You can see that I'm kind of tripping over my outside knee, curling in my legs, and they come around full circle until they land on the floor, facing away from the pole. You'll also notice that I have my outside hand grabbing inside of the pole, palm facing in towards the pole. That's going to direct my hips and myself as I am propelling myself around the pole. So that hand should be pushing in towards the pole as the top hand is grabbing up above. And again, very similar to this, we're going to be landing on the shins here. So same thing is happening with the legs. I'm still using that tripping motion with the outside knee. I'm still pushing away with that outside hand. You can see it coming behind the pole. The, the biggest difference here is the top hand falls off and I kind of trip onto the ground onto the face of my shins. This one, you definitely don't want to overdo it. Um, it can be pretty hard on your knees. So take a few rounds, take a break, come back to it. Um, and practice makes perfect on this one. You are going to fall. So that's totally fine. So let's move on to some easier ones. This first one is a super cool rolling over the shoulder knee hook and then coming back up onto the pole. So to begin with, I'm taking one hand and it's pressing behind the pole and I'm going to be hooking a knee in front of the pole and rising up. So hand comes behind, pushing back on that shoulder. You can see that I am rolling out and you'll see my outside arm. It kind of helps me propel off of the ground. So pulling back through that top arm, once I hook the knee, I roll over the shoulder, tucking my head in. And then I just come up and re-grip onto the pole. All right, and lastly, we've got this really cool kind of pirouette-like turn that we can complete on the ground. I like to start this movement kind of in a side lunge pose. So starting from the side of the pole, I'm going to take my inside hand, move it in front of the pole, and then it's going to push me underneath that arm. 
And you'll see as I'm pushing, I've also extended out my inside leg. That kind of takes a lot of the weight and puts it onto the outside leg, which is the one that we're pivoting on as we move through this 360 movement. You'll also notice that I, I kind of shoot my knees out at the end of this movement for uh, a kind of dramatic look. All of these moves are, are pretty dramatic looking, as you can see. Now I know this was kind of a quick video. Those descriptions might have been a little bit too brief. If you'd like me to dive in a little bit deeper about any of these movements, or if you like this video and you want more movements to come your way, feel free to drop a comment um, on what your preferences are. And I am more than happy to make more tutorials about this kind of stuff. I think these movements are really fun and cool. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to subscribe and I will see you all on the next one.